My loneliness is killing me, and I, I must confess, I still believe. Still believe. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not gonna hit that note. I'm looking for someone who makes me feel the way music makes you feel. Fun, eccentric, loves to travel, obviously have some sense of fashion. Um, I like someone who likes to dress up, who likes to go out. Literally looking for my Kim, for my Kanye, I would say. <laughs> I do not want someone who tries to hold me back from my work. I like someone that can really like me for who I am, and I'm not easy, I'm telling you. Your name is Natasha, and this is your story. You're 28 years old. For work, you're working retail or fashion. You grew up in New York. Cultural or ethnic background, I would say, Eastern European. My name is Viola, and I am 28 years old. So you were good on that. <laughs> I do work in fashion, but I'm not in the retail. Not in retail. I'm a fashion journalist. I grew up in Milan, and uh, yes, Italy. I'm from Italy, Milano. So your name is John, and this is your story. You are 28 years old. For work, you are an actor or a model because of your hair. I <laughs> you grew up in Brooklyn. Your cultural background, like African American. So my name is Andre. Mm. I am 34. What? <laughs> <laughs> For work, I'm a talent manager. I work in entertainment. Um, I grew up in Jamaica, actually, and cultural and ethnic background, African American. Why did you think I was Natasha? That my name was Natasha? I mean, I felt like you're Eastern European, you know, like Russian or Ukrainian, like your features. I don't sound Italian because I'm from the north, but you figured that I was Russian from my look, or yeah. like Eastern <laughs> European, or... I used to work in fashion, I used to manage models, so... Oh, nice! The, you can kind of pick up the, you know? That's good. <laughs> Came here like five years ago. Five years ago, like me. Yeah. I grew up in Milan and I moved five years ago. I've been to Milan. Mm -hmm. For Fashion Week, right? Yeah. Oh, you see? <laughs> mm -hmm. We're both in fashion, that's nice. <laughs> One point that's for you. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to have a beautiful relationship like my parents. So many couples right now, they prefer just like leave at uh, the first issue of difficulties. My parents, they stay together and they work out the issues. This is something I, I admire. As a role model, it would have to be TV. It's almost like a fantasy, like mom and a dad getting married and having like two kids. I'm an only child, so I grew up with my mom. She's a single mom. I didn't really know my dad. I didn't really see a lot of like family and marriage. And so that was never something that I imagined or envisioned that, oh, I want to do that. After traveling and being a lot more exposed, then you know, you see that that's possible. As a kid, you wanted to be a model when you grew up. If you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, I said pasta. <laughs> Classico. Cliche, right? <laughs> and your dream job would be an editor-in-chief for a big magazine or a big publication, I feel like. As a kid, I wanted to be a, sing a singer. Singer. If I can only eat one thing for the rest of my life, that would be sushi. Sushi? Mm-hmm. I know I'm a weird Italian. No, I love sushi too. <laughs> and my dream job will be talk show host, you know, talking about fashion, lifestyle, all of that. Oh, nice. <laughs> but you were close. <laughs> As a kid, you wanted to be a model when you grew up. <laughs> if you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, it will be pizza. Your dream job will be being a manager of a very famous artist. <laughs> As a kid, I actually wanted to be an accountant. If I could eat one thing for the rest of my life, it would definitely be fast food, like anything with fries or burger. Like, I love the taste of that. My dream job, I have it. My dream job would be, as you said, mind your famous artist, and oh. I do have it. Okay, so you said as a kid you wanted to be a singer. Like, mm -hmm. Can you actually sing or? I'm not super good. 
<laughs> I used to sing, oh baby, baby. <laughs> Nice. That Wait. is fun, you know. No, I want to hear it. My, My loneliness, loneliness is killing me, and I, I must confess, I still believe. Still believe. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I want to hit that note. <laughs> I'll let you do that part. I don't like those type of men that try to manipulate and control you, but unfortunately that's what happened to me <laughs> all the time. They don't like the fact that I'm so ambitious, independent. If I am in a relationship with you, it's because I choose to be with you, not because I need you. So I'm a huge follower of astrology. I love the horoscopes, like I read my horoscopes every day religiously. The longest relationship I've been in was with a Scorpio, it was a five years. And we have fun, but it, we never really connected. When I read my horoscope, it says you're not compatible with a Scorpio. Like, your sign and your compatibility is a, is a deal breaker, because there are certain things that just doesn't change about a person. If you're not a Leo, a Libra, or Aquarius, then basically, you know, we can't move forward. <laughs> You're most likely to overspend on shoes. <laughs> and your astrological sign is Sagittarius. You think the woman should be the breadwinner? Uh, I'm most likely to overspend on traveling as opposed to like shoes or anything like that. My sign is a Gemini. I'm a Gemini. The best mm, sign. Like my ex. <laughs> Sorry. I think breadwinner, I think it should be equal. I think both parties should bring something to the table and make sure mm -hmm. that everything is like, you know, together. You're most likely to overspend on bags or <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Your astrological sign is a Libra. You think that both people should be the breadwinner. I think you believe it should be equal. I'm most likely uh, to overspend on clothing and yes, bags as well. My astrological sign is Capricorn. Cool. <laughs> Woman should be the breadwinner. Woman should be the breadwinner. That's a new concept. Because men, you know, by society they are supposed to be a certain way. Mm -hmm. Why? So it could be yourself. sometimes soft is fine. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I feel like it should be equal, but but also I believe in women power mm -hmm. and you know, independent women. So. Well, you wouldn't have an issue of, like being the breadwinner like I mean I'm always the one that wears pants in a relationship that's what I feel <laughs> because I'm very I, I know what I want right and I feel like why not to change the roles around sometimes switch it's things good. Up, right? switch things change up. yeah things up. so I see something I don't really like here <laughs> your astrological sign is Gemini you know they say that's the best sign right and two personalities <laughs> Two personalities. And what's your other personality? One is great and one is amazing. I'm so blind. <laughs> I'm so much perfection. You know, I'm pretty big on astrology. Do you read your horoscope or no? Um, I'm not really a big believer. I mean, how I really got into it is like, you know, growing up as a kid, you're trying to like discover who you are and where you want to go. Astrology was like, that for me where because I wanted to know more about the world. How do you study people? How do you um, deal with human interaction from this basis? What are the signs that are a good match with you? Based on astrology? <laughs> <laughs> Libra, Leo, Aquarius. So I'm out, right? No, I have to Bye. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> saw you, I, I would not date you, mainly because I like taller girls, like, okay. but then after a conversation, I decided that I would, okay. I would date you. <laughs> and we small girls look younger, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I had to add that. <laughs> when I first saw you, I said I would date you because I really like the style. Nice. And the hair. <laughs> <laughs> then, after speaking, I will still date you because you're very fun and we had a good uh, conversation and we sang Britney Spears together. So. <laughs> yes. So what's going to happen now? Are you taking me out for a day? Of course. I'm a very cliche guy, so 
dinner, we could do sushis. I do love sushi, yes, actually. <laughs> so let's do sushi and um, you like dancing? I like dancing. Um, dancing, I'm not really good, but I can try. Can check it out. Definitely. You know, go dinner, go a little dancing and see where it goes. Let's do it. Let's go then. <laughs> Super Cake